Hello, folks. For I am the one, the only. I am Ho Bo Tom. And today, well, actually yesterday, or actually the day before, sometime, I received a special request. I told a friend what I was going to have for dinner tonight, because it is a Saturday dinner. And as you can tell, I have my old work hat. Oh, wow, this is my old super target hat. Yeah, and one of many jobs I've held. And honestly, I just don't get rid of hats. Eventually, I wear one out. And I just go to the closet and get a new one. Again, you know what? If this thing gets beat up on a motors on the back of a motorcycle, or there's something to kind of put on my head after I get off said motorcycle, what's the difference? So this one, in this video I make... A uh, little fake homemade Chinese food. Not the most creative video, but still a video nonetheless. Again, it was requested. If you too would like to request Hobo Tom and, the, and to see what I make in the kitchen, in the Hobo Kitchen, let me know. Again, you can send a comment. You can definitely like, share, comment, subscribe. And every so often I check my emails. That's a novel idea. So you gotta enjoy the video, and this is the Hobo Kitchen. And you shall see me again sometime tomorrow night for Impact Rebellion. My predictions video is already up. And then a little scheduling notes for next week. Next week I think I only do two videos. Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Soup Day NXT. This Wednesday I'm off to Jacksonville. Thursday I work. Friday I work. And then I have the weekend off from wrestling. So good. So I'll see everyone tomorrow. Oh, well, later. Bye. Well, folks, welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And right now we are in the Hobo Kitchen. Well, there's a cat stuff. I have some ingredients out. Um, I actually received a request. I was requested to show how I make fake Chinese food. Uh, oh, there she is. She's hungry. She doesn't know she's being videotaped. Oh, look how pretty she looks. With her sweet collar on. She can go outside now. So, the first part, it is... I actually have to go to work today. So it's a little bit early. So I'm going to be making a... kind of homemade Chinese... fake Chinese stuff. I'm going to have some... udon stir-fry noodles, some stir-fry sauce, Thai-style chili I'm going to make a veggie stir fry that everything else kind of in the refrigerator is falling out. So I like to freeze stuff. So I have and some pepper onion mix. Some egg rolls. Um, steamed kind of Chinese style dumplings. Asian, well it says Asian inspired at least. And very classic season, season blend. I like my peppers and onions. They're pretty good. So the first thing, uh, uh, this is for a friend. Found those. She deserves to be a mermaid for a day. First thing that you have to do, I'm going to put the water on. I mean, washing my hands, I think, a lot. Is that I always like to let chicken marinate. I'm not a fan of really dry rubbing chicken. Um... So right now I'm using thin sliced breast meat. And wow, that's not as, that's a big freaking styrofoam container. And fairly thin sliced. Let's put it there. And that doesn't lot. Remember, when you grill stuff, it is, there is gonna be a reduction of weight. And remember, you should always wash your hands a little bit. Let's see here. I'm wearing my Steven Larson shirt. A friend of Bill's, one of the first wrestling t-shirts I figured I would get. And I want to have a contrast of flavor. So right now, the chicken and kind of just any marinating dish. I'm just going to pour this stuff out. Woo! That smells pretty good.
Let's add some Thai style sweet chili. And get as much coverage as possible. And rub it in a little bit. <clears throat> Nice little coverage there. Again, if you want to wear gloves for this, that's fine. This is, <coughs> this is why I have the sink running. And I'm going to be taking a shower soon anyway. With all that stuff. So let's see, let's wash this. And let's see here. So with that, I have it marinated. And you can't see it that much. It's kind of an orangey, clearish liquid, so you can see a little bit of it on the chicken. Actually, the chicken looks a lot well, more well covered from this. Um, once I put that on the grill, I'll pour the stuff on top. It should be cooking fairly early, so there still should be some light. And this is step one. This, um, if you want to wrap it up, you can. I trust my refrigerator. Let's see, open up said refrigerator. I have all the other ingredients ready. I have some, I have some bourbon, some brandy stuff that goes in there, and I'll come back after work and cook it. We get the stove prepped and ready. This can go back there. That's just a little prop, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, you're never gonna get all of it out. Bye. There she is. There's the hobo cat. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Yep, I'm back from work. Um, it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. It looks like goofed off a little bit, so I'll show you kind of my ingredients. Got to stop, get some stuff. Getting ready for Cinco de Mayo, as you can tell. Champagne call. So here I have the marinated chicken. I'll just put that right there for now. That's okay. So, kind of what I do before I start cooking. Remember, I started marinating this earlier this morning. It's pretty good, I think. Got a saute pan, some udon noodles, stir fry sauce, seasoned blend of vegetables. Whatever veggies you like to put in is fine. I'm not going to be too specific. I have steamed dumplings, maybe I should have gotten pork. Chicken's fine, maybe because I'm having chicken over there. And, well, some pork egg rolls. And then, of course, it's a Saturday Night Fever. You always have to have the bottle of booze. So, let's see here. Have the, the Hurricane Supply started. Bottle of Fago there. Big old balls of stuff. Probably terrible lighting. Again, the wine supply, no such thing as too much wine. Heading out here to the other part of the Hobo Studios. This is where the videos are made. There's the Hobo Cat. So that's where the videos are made. And remember, one's going to be coming up soon on Cinco de Mayo. It's going to be Cinco Mania here in the Daytona Beach Bumfight League, which features only masked wrestlers. I'll figure out something for that. I'll have to get out because if not, Sneaky Kitty will come out here. Oh wow, I thought I was going to do this a lot sooner, so you might not be able to see it. So here's the grill, the grill cover has to come off. I'll that to the side, my brushes. I know, I know for sure you can't see this, but to turn the grill. Jesus. Huh? I hope the gas is on. I'll find out really soon. The hell they made that kind of noise. Too much. Yeah, there's... I hear something going. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's just under some pressure. I don't know, that's pretty weird. So I have the grill going. I'll put it down there. Oh. Something off firecracker somewhere. So that's all nice and clean. That was kind of weird. I don't think that's ever happened. Again, you can tell the flame's going. I just set it on high. I figured at 500 degrees it's going to sterilize itself to get warm. That was kind of weird though. I don't know, because my dad does fiddle with stuff. Back in the house, make sure the hobo cat does not escape. 
And then while that warms up, hopefully in four minutes. Oh, tool back. That was, that was kind of cool feeling too. Back here in the official hobo kitchen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start. Let's see here. To turn on heat a little bit. I like to cook about seven. Whatever you feel comfortable with, go nuts with. So first thing, set frying pan, make sure it's the right one. You don't want to take that chicken away from any kind of heat for a little bit. I do like to use a little olive oil, get things, get the party started. A little swirl there. If you have like any other oil, I like to use olive oil. To me, it has a little taste to it. Kind of try and coat the pan as best as you can. Mainly, this is just so that things don't stick to each other. Try and get just a nice, even distribution of olive oil. <laughs> For lubrication purposes only. Uh, I know, what is it, canola oil is pretty good. Grapeseed oil has even less flavor. It really doesn't matter to me. And then you take your seasoned blend of veggies. Whatever kind of veggies you like. I like to use a seasoned blend. I'm just kind of lazy. I open up the, the knife. You do not see. And I know oil and water does not mix. That's okay. Most of that oil can be evaporated away. Then you do it more fancy. Again, if you want to use a different, if you want to use different types of veggies, if you want to use pure Asian veggies, hey, go for it. If you want to use other types of veggies, um, California blend. I just like this blend. Kind of universal. Celery, peppers, onions. Add some of my own stuff in there. And mainly the goal with this, I want to steam these off. So I'm going to let those sit over here on this pan. I'm going to put, it might be a little bit too high for the pan, but I have to be careful. I don't want my camera to catch on fire. That would be kind of bad and dumb. So I do have a couple different dishes set up, mainly because, and you're seeing all my undone dishes. Wow, that's not that many. So one day, I'll make a couple bowls. Jeez, look at this. I can't believe there's only so few. Now you can steam these. Again, I have to get the knife off. Probably hearing a little bit of a boiling process. Jeez, that's not a lot. Man. On to said pan, that'll be okay. Kind of nice, cute little floralette designs. That's cool. I'm done with that. And floralette design. Kind of cool. And of course, I don't care <laughs> who you guys are. Well, you're seeing a big shot of my dishes. I like egg rolls. I'm not too fond of the egg roll sauce. Hey, if you like it, power to you. You can hear a little sizzling behind you. Oh wow, that's it. Man, Walmart's getting stingier and stingier. If you have a deep fryer, you can deep fry this stuff. I mean, again, it's kind of up to you. Remember, I do have the oven back, I have the oven on outside and honestly I'm just gonna like people say you should always you can see the, the steam happening we're gonna hear you have the steam happening that's a good thing the camera back there I'll separate it out a little bit let that oil you know the oil and water will separate itself out water will evaporate oils there at the bottom of the pan just keep them from sticking Now I, and a lot of people disagree with me, I just set my oven, honestly, and you can tell the numbers just keep on going up. I'll honestly set it to about 
440. But then what I do, because I'm not actually, and there's, there's the glorious oven where, where food goes. Jeez, I might not need these extra bowls now that I think about it. So here, we move this over. Just gonna let that cook in a little bit. Let's, let's let, let, let a lot of that water kind of evaporate. It was frozen again. If you want to use fresh vegetables, power to you. Take my chicken. I'm marinating. Hopefully my stove hasn't blown up on me. That would be kind of bad. Oh, there's a goodie bag for someone. Back out here. Uh-oh. Look who's waiting for me at the door. Yeah, slowly. I don't know if you can see your glowy, glowy eyes. So again, I have my flip-flops. God knows what lives in this grass here. Don't. You have a little bit more protection. Three dollar flip flops at Walmart's pretty good. Ugh. Back outside we go. Well, you can't see it, but the grill is actually up to about 300 degrees. You can actually feel the heat coming off. And what I like to do, I like to put the chicken. So you can actually hear that sizzle. That's good. And if I have to move it around, and then what I do, I kind of didn't see my hands, but I kind of dip and fold it. So now, kind of pour it on top. And then I close this up using my good non wet hand. Let that continue to cook. We go back inside. Oh, he's mindful of the sneaky one. Wherever she is, She's somewhere Wait, waiting to sneak around. She's done it before, that's why she has a flea collar now. Let's see her. Back in the main kitchen. She knows I caught her once sneaking out. Yeah, I don't see her. So, oh, there she is. There's the hobo cat. Mm, something smells good here in the oven. Booze. Booze is always good. And so you can see that this is actually drastically reduced. I like this. Oh, I know, dirty sink, but that's okay. I like to start the cleaning process as soon as I can. Most of the time. Oh, I should be taking that stuff off. Oh, squirt there. Because that's going to be added to. Back here we go again. Want to make sure to give it a nice stir. And all those aromatics are coming out now. And I think I'm not going to make leftovers. So I'm going to put these two away. Mainly because there's not a lot of extra stuff. Like if I get a lot of egg, egg rolls or there's a cute whole pile of dumplings to eat, I'll make extras and then save the dumplings. Because, uh, the reason why I do that is because in this udon noodle package, they actually give you two packs in here. So I'll show you, and this way I'll save one, I've used one now. So in the pack you actually get two. There you go. So one will be going to Captain the Pantry, I'll leave for another night. We put that with the pasta, so that's always a good thing. Well, in case I feel like having, having it again, the same amount, and actually probably eating more proteins is probably better for me than eating too many carbohydrates. And remember, the chicken is going to reduce in size, so I just have to remember the infamous clock, probably with those chicken breasts. This chicken, I do want it to cook thoroughly, so I'll probably wait about five minutes aside. If you look here, a lot of this liquid has actually reduced. Very little water left, which is good. Now I just want these to come up to temperature. And while I do that, 
There's no such thing as too much seasoning. Use a little red chili flake. And a little Italian seasoning. Kind of generic Italian herbs and stuff. Shoot, you know the one thing I should have gotten? I should have gotten some cilantro. That's okay, I'll get that next I'll have that next time. Cilantro makes everything good. Some garlic powder. No such thing as too much garlic. Yeah, I've had garlic clay seam sauce, that stuff's amazing. And no one will want to be by you for a day or so. If you have a walk, that's probably even better. I think my parents have an electric walk at home. It actually smells amazing. You can see there's very little steam coming off it right now. It's not so much the fact that you want to fry these veggies, but you just want to keep on kind of turning them so they don't burn on you. And that's the true key of stuff. What the heck is that? that was a chunk of I don't know what the heck that is. That's weird. Every so often you get weird chunks of stuff. Well, it doesn't look like it should be there. I just get rid of it. I don't know what it is. Cook down a little bit more. Tongs ready for when the chicken comes out. If you don't want to be all iron chef about it, you can shake it a little bit. I prefer the spoon technique to get really get everything kind of out of there. And remember, you pre-oil pre the pan so it doesn't stick as much. So now, I'm going to add in the sauce. You can use whatever sauce you like. Um, in the past, I've used garlic hoisin sauce. I use regular hoisin sauce, garlic ginger, ginger garlic. I don't know, there's so many sauces out there. Hey, if you're super creative, go make your own. I was working from since I work today from 10 to 5:30, and honestly, I came home. Actually, I had to go to the gym. Went to the one grocery store. Went after the garbage bag up. Went to the one grocery store. Came home, relaxed a little bit set up a video, so I'm kind of not in the mood for being super creative, but just creative enough. And then I like it when I can just see the pan start to brown, so I need to stick it just a little bit, that's okay. Pouring the whole thing of sauce. Don't stir right away, no, it's just bad. Um, you're not seeing it because it's hard to do. Take a knife. Incision. Open up the bag. Noodles into the drink. And once these noodles get warm and wet, because they're actually fresh noodles. You can just literally start to prime them apart a little bit. Again, remember the sauce off. See, I don't know if you saw it, but it just really just broke right apart there. Once it gets just a little moisture, and to use chef terminology, to fold the sauce in. That way everything's coated, everything to the pool and actually breaks up a lot easier. These are actually fairly thick noodles. So I'm going to let these simmer a little bit. The, my little spoon rest there. Grab the tongs. 
My cat likes to stare at those tongs. And remember, I use kind of thinly sliced chicken breasts, so they're not going to take super long to cook out, and they're chicken breasts, so they're not going to be overly fatty. And you do have to be careful about them drying out to some degree. You can feel a bit of the shrinkage that has happened. Got to be careful because this thing will catch on fire. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's already hot. It is a little bit sticky. That's pretty good though. Some, some nice good grill marks. I'm going to switch these two because this one's kind of the bigger one. That should go in the middle. Again, nice good grill marks there. I honestly don't mind if it chars a little bit either. That's, I'm good with that. Those three breasts are looking pretty good. Wood goes back down, and you can't see but it's still at about 400 degrees. I can stay up there. That's going to get you can sterilized anyway. Make sure there's no hobo cat running around. That's got another good yeah, five to seven minutes. And if it goes seven minutes, we're probably not going to dry it up too much. And honestly, because of stuff, you already, I always prefer just to slightly overcook it versus like insanely undercook it. Because when you undercook it, you risk getting other stuff. But here you can tell the sauce is actually really thickened up a lot. Yeah, probably we'll sit around 9.30, this will be done. Then put in just that little touch of olive oil, just coat the pan. And especially if you keep things moving, it tends not to stick as much. I'm sure someone says, well, this is real honey Chinese food. You know what? It's as close as an American is going to get to making Chinese food as possible. While that's cooking, steaming a little bit more. Oh, yes. It's time for the beverage. The beverage of choice tonight. I'm going to be very some Simply Brent, some, and have kind of like a version of a 7 and 7, a little brandy, Whoop. pull that up. And I'm just going to use kind of a fancy snifter, set that there, again. Always be mindful, you just want to kind of stir things, because if not, it will gunk up on the bottom of the pan. Especially once the sauce starts to really evaporate, and you heard that beep, 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 that means the oven's done. So it's at 440 right now. You can tell that steam's coming up pretty good. So that's almost ready to go. Now I'm going to take this glass, I'm going to fill it up with ice. Everyone knows how to fill a glass up with ice. That doesn't mean nearly any explanation whatsoever. I do have to move some stuff around for tomorrow. Give me what I want. I want some ice. Now, if you have an ice maker, that's great. Um, I don't. I still have to use old fat. I have to make ice cubes. Every couple weeks, I go to ice making production. Actually, pretty good there. So, this little snifter takes up most of the ice. So, this is still going. And very simply, what I do, uh, you can time it out. Generally, it's like a three second pour. One, two, three. And it's probably pretty close to the proper amount. You want to make it more stiff. You want to add more, less stiff, less. Very simple. You can, I like to use lemon lime soda. It's kind of a good old staple of mine. And look at this beautiful amber color it turns. Doesn't that look so pretty? 
I think it does. I'll save that for future use. And so this is actually getting well done. So what I'm going to do is kind of stir this. Well, but now that once you see that browning, that means it's actually almost done. So this is probably been well cooked. So I'm going to actually turn this off. I do want to... So hopefully I caught pieces of it. Again, you have a nice amber liqueur from the lemon lime soda and, and bourbon. That is, I turned that off. And honestly, this is going to go off next. I know, I'm just told by looking, you can see things bubbling and boiling and turning brown. That's pretty good. I'm going to let that sit at a latent heat, a latent heat of 440 degrees. And that's off. The clock's there. That's ready. And honestly, in about two minutes, I'm going to get the chicken out and start plating stuff. So I'm going to go get my movie ready. Because it's movie night. Every Saturday is movie night. And as you can tell, Hobo Cat has no clue what's going on. Sniffing the carpet because I just threw a treat on it. She's like, where's treat at? Looking at me saying, give me more treat. So I'll be back. It's actually movie night. It's, Saturday, it's a Saturday night fever. Nice features. Star Wars. It is my very much Easter ritual. Even during Easter and after Easter. Ooh, that's, this has to go back. What are you doing to the carpet? That's actually where the Ottman was for a whole week. Ottman. Um, <laughs> kind of Start to turn to drinks. Cheers, everyone. So now that chicken's done. And latent heat. Cooking in latent heat. It's all you really need. You can grab whatever plate you want. I'm, I don't like to use the serving plate. I don't like to bring that outside. I'm afraid a bug does get in there. Because, again, there's a lot of stuff in there. So here we go back outside. That chicken should be actually well done by now. Generally, I cook it anywhere between 10 and 14 minutes. If you're cooking it more than 14 minutes, you're probably going to over dry it because I have so much sauce, it doesn't matter. What I do for safety concern, turn the main gas off first. Turn off the individual Oh, and look at that. I don't know how much you can see it. It looks so good, so well done. Again, it has a little bit of a char, which I'm fine with. Oh, look at that. Freaking amazing. Again, the bigger piece, more with the more heat. It's just a little bit thicker, but it can cook evenly. Some of it's always going to stick to the grill. Again, it just looks juicy and delicious. And mainly because I'm lazy. I give it just a quick scrub down. That stuff's gonna char up anyway. Doesn't really matter. We can close or open the grill. I'll leave this out here. I'll, I have to return anyway tonight. Back inside, not one of the old baseball cleats. People say, why do you leave the outside light on? That's because I'll realize that that's outside and I have to clean stuff up. How long did that take? It's actually not too bad. I'll probably start this whole process, well, besides the marinating of stuff, for nine. Let's see here. For some reason, it's a warm night here. So now, that's all ready. Hopefully this one will catch on fire over here. Because we don't need no water. Let this burn. 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 So very... And you can plate it however you feel like it. Um, because this is my one big made meal for the week. I typically don't eat this much like a day. This is like my Saturday meal.
So very simply, let me move this over with this because it's just really, I mean, it's noodles, it's, it's pasta. This just gets put right, just dumped right on the dish. If I was to have guests over for, for I wanted to have leftovers, but that's not uh, too much. I didn't realize that, that there was a lot of packaging with that chicken for some reason. And most everything scrapes off pretty good. And I do believe that presentation is important. So it looks kind of nice and neat. I'm going to start this whole cleaning process here. Put that on the top of all the dishes with some soapy water. And everyone, know to, everyone should know how to clean dishes, folks. There is no rocket science behind it. <laughs> soapy water pan, top of pan. It'll be good for a little bit. So now what I like to do, is that I like to get kind of creative and specific. And the first thing I'll do, if you wanted to save the tongs for that, you can. Very simply, because this is just going to go on top. You know it's still hot and juicy. You know it's still juicy because there is some juice. But if you were to open up this chicken breast, it's going to look freaking amazing. Into the dishwasher it goes. Now, what I do, I shall alternate. So I want to have one. And if you need to use a tool, very simple spatula is pretty good. I'll go... One, two, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I wish I had more dumplings in that one package though. That would, that would make it look better. So it's not too bad. So I do have an extra egg roll, I guess. That's, trust me, that's going to go anyway. Then I'll just go, you know what? I don't really have an extra egg roll. Dude, if they had two more, actually, you know, if I space it out a little bit, I'll give, give you a little, make, you, you make it look nice. And if I have an extra egg roll, ooh, wow, you know what, that's going to go anyway. So now in the final presentation, I have a minute left. Oh, wait, wait a second. Where did my drink go? Oh, this is, cannot be... You need to make this proper, like proper number 12. There you go, Conor McGregor. Cheap plug for your Irish whiskey, proper number 12. That was really good and refreshing. I had a long day at work. Again, you can count to three, whatever you feel like. I'm going to be nursing this all night long anyway. <laughs> long night. And let's see here, so I have one spare egg roll, but you know what, the plate looks pretty. It's well proportioned out, well, at least for, for my needs, it's well proportioned out. The one egg roll, that, that won't last long. Then, some nice Thai sweet chili chicken on top of a bed of stir fry noodles with vegetables, dumplings, and of course, a nice adult beverage. And I'd like to thank Evan for watching. Again, if you have any ideas about what you would like to see me cook, in the hobo kitchen. Let me know. Again, you can do that by email. Send a comment, drop a comment. Um, every so often I do these. Sometimes I do food reviews, depending if something like Noon Spectacular comes out. Um, again, leave me suggestions as to what you, my viewing audience, want to see me try to cook. Bye!